The ancient Greeks knew a lot about the stars. Let's face it, they didn't have a whole lot else to do. Stars are the only show in town. But amongst the thousands of stars that they saw across their night sky, there were five special ones. Stars that acted just a little bit different. While most stars stayed in a fixed place across the sky, these tended to wander around slowly over time. And they called these stars Asters Planetae, the wandering stars. These planets, as they came to be known, eventually became what we know of as our solar system. And we've been finding more of them ever since. Tremo303 suggested, I'd love to see a video about the possible existence of this planet X that they are finding a lot of evidence for. Thanks for the knowledge. And the knowledge thanks you. You might have seen some headlines all over the social media lately talking about a possible ninth planet in our solar system, but talk about the ninth planet actually is not anything new. Up until the 1700s, they only knew about six planets, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn. But then astronomer William Herschel built a telescope powerful enough to find Uranus. It wasn't only earth shattering because they found a new planet, it also literally doubled the size of our solar system. The distance between Uranus and Saturn is the same as the distance between Saturn and the Sun. Uranus is way out there. And there you have it, seven planets, that's cool, seven continents, it's a lucky number, I mean, that's it, right? Wait, I'm sorry, it's doing what? In the century that followed as they studied the orbit of Uranus, they found what are called perturbations. Uranus was perturbed. A perturbation is kind of a wobble in the orbit of a planet. When another planet passes by, especially a really large planet, it can cause the orbit of this planet to twitch a little bit. And Uranus was twitching. The confusing part is that this was happening while Saturn and Jupiter were on the other side of the solar system, which means there was something else out there causing this wobble in its orbit. Now this hidden eighth planet remained a mystery until about 1847 when two mathematicians working separately in England and France both came up with some calculations. And those calculations pointed to specific coordinates in the solar system. And when the astronomers in Berlin pointed their powerful telescopes at this spot, there it was. Neptune is the only planet that's been found with math. By the way, interesting fact, Neptune takes 165 years to circle the sun, which means that right about now, it's exactly where it was when they first found it. Unless you're watching this 30 years from now, in which case, don't believe what they say about me. I did what I had. Anyway, as astronomers studied this new planet, they found something else interesting. It also had a perturbance that couldn't be accounted for, which means there may be another ninth planet out there. So the search was on for the ninth planet. Astronomers scoured the skies looking for this thing because, let's face it, naming a planet is pretty much the coolest thing an astronomer can do. But it wasn't until 1930 when Clyde Tombaugh, an American astronomer, found a tiny point of light that turned out to be Pluto. Now, Pluto is nowhere near big enough to cause any kind of wobble in Neptune's orbit. In fact, it lost its planetary status, became a dwarf status, as we all know. And those Neptunian perturbations have never been fully explained, although there are some people that think the original math was wrong, that they made some mistakes, and that there may not be any kind of wobble whatsoever. But now some other evidence has shown up. Beyond Neptune lies the Kuiper Belt. It's this asteroid belt 50 astronomical units away from the Sun. It's way out there, but it may have up to 100,000 asteroids in it. And while most of those asteroids stay out there in the belt, every once in a while some of them will become dislodged and fly down into the solar system. These orbits are usually pretty random, and they become even more random over time as the asteroid passes by planets and the planet's gravity messes it all up. In the past few years, astronomers have found several of these asteroids that actually follow the same course around the Sun. They're so similar, in fact, that the chance of them recurring randomly are 1 in 15,000. Which means all of these asteroids were dislodged by a single passing object an object about 10 times the mass of Earth, making it about the same size as Neptune. And it would have to be in a really huge elliptical orbit lasting 15,000 years. Wait a second, 15,000 year orbit, a one in 15,000 chance of it being... Yes, universe, I'm listening. Which makes it a very, very different kind of planet. In fact, some people think that it may be a brown dwarf star that got captured up in our sun's gravity. So now they're trying to replicate the same success they had with Neptune, right? They've made some calculations as to where around, generally, this planet should be. And some of the scientists at the Subaru Telescope, which is one of the largest telescopes in the world at Hawaii, have started studying this area, and they think that they'll know within about five years. Now you may be saying to yourself, how are we having so much trouble finding this? We're finding planets, you know, around stars hundreds of light years away. How are we missing this thing right in our backyard? 
Because the planets that we found hundreds of light years away are really close to their stars, which means they're reflecting a lot of light. Whereas this one is so far away from the sun that hardly any light is hitting it. You know, when you're outside at night, it's a lot easier to see a street sign, you know, three blocks away underneath a street light than it is to see a rock right next to your foot in the dark. So for now, it's just a theory, but of course that didn't stop a lot of click-hungry websites from posting big bombastic headlines declaring we found a ninth planet, which is very premature. But still. It'll be cool to see what they find. Now, I know you guys have an opinion on this, so let's hear it down in the comments. What do you think? Do you think we have a ninth planet? Do you think it was a 1 in 15,000 chance that these asteroids, you know, passed around the sun the way they do? Do you think there's something else that could have dislodged them? Let's talk about it. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Please share this on your social media and give it a thumbs up if you liked it. If this is your first time here and you like what you saw, hit the subscribe button. I come back with stuff like this every single Monday. Also stick around because I've got some really cool stuff coming in the next few weeks, couple of months. I can't talk about it, which is killing me, but i got some really cool stuff on the way. Can't wait to share it with you. Can't thank you guys enough for all the kind words that you guys are giving me about this channel. I love that you're a part of it, and I love bringing this kind of interesting stuff to you every week. Uh, you guys go on out there, you have an eye-opening week, and I will see you next Monday. Thanks. Love you guys. Take care.